What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fall Guys video. In today's video we're going to go over everything new inside of the mid-season 4 update that just launched today. Buckle up because we got a lot of stuff to go over. A lot of falls, a lot of spills, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button and go down in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite feature that they added inside of this brand new update. To me, it has to be the new rounds. I love it when we get new rounds. Just adding new content generally to the game is always a plus for me. But again, we got tons of new features and stuff like that that we aren't going to go over. This is on the news feed in game, so let's just go over this real quickly. It's a brief summary of what's going on. It says the mid-season 4 update brings new facilities and features galore. Future rounds are upon us with button bashers and slime scrapers. I'm going to have how to win videos on both of these brand new game modes. Once I actually jump into them, I've been playing a little bit. I haven't jumped into any of the two. Private lobbies are now available for all users. I'm going to go over that in this video on how to set up a private lobby. This is where you can create custom lobbies with a join code to challenge large groups of friends. So this is going to be good for creators or streamers or people that make video content just like myself where we can create a custom lobby, custom matches, people can join in and play with us for videos, for content, for streams and stuff like that. I think this is incredibly cool. I I believe this was available for certain content creators got this access early with PC and stuff like that but now it's available for everyone to use so that's pretty cool and the game now fully supports cross platform matchmaking and allows players on different platforms to play with each other for the first time now I'm gonna go over how to disable this in this video just in case you're not a fan I know this is like a big topic of discussion on my channel personally about cross-platform play a lot of people don't want it some people just don't care to be honest either way however you feel i'm gonna go over it in this video it says mid season mix up show it says check out this show to jump straight into all the new level variants in one handy playlist and i should be playing this i think that's why i'm not jumping into new stuff let me make sure that this show is selected okay i have main show and mix it up let me make sure main show is unclicked and go into mix it up now while we are here let's show you how to set up a custom show so on your show selector screen what you want to do is go to where it says custom shows as you can see l1 r1 you can select the custom show that you want to actually do now you actually could join the show this is join a custom fall guys show in play with your friends in order to do so it's going to say that you have to enter the code it says enter the code provided by your custom show host below so the code is going to be given out by the creator when you go to host you get to create the code and then you get to give out that code to your audience or whatever your friends whoever you want to jump in and play a little group fall guys game with you can do that it says please note the server region is based on the host location your performance may vary on your location relative to your host's location. It just basically means if your host is on East Coast, West Coast, depending on their location, that's going to be where the server is going to start and basically be the best at. If you're overseas in the EU or in Australia for whatever reason and you're playing with someone in the States or whatever, you may be going to have a little bit of connection lag. I'm not too sure on how strong stuff like that will work or how bad the lag will be we're gonna have to do some tests in the community let me know in the comment section below if you join in on a creator or whoever and you guys are in different locations how bad is the lag inside of custom shows let's talk about that in the comments as well and if you are hosting your own show it says host your own custom full guy show and invite friends let's go to host and see how it works it says create lobby this will create a private lobby Share your lobby code from the next screen to invite players to your show. If you are in a party, creating a private lobby will remove you from that party. So note, you cannot just jump in on PlayStation, have four people in your party, in your group or, you know, your party chat, whatever, and then go to host and bring them along with you. I don't know why that's not a thing. Hopefully they fix that in the future. That would be more convenient to bring, you know, at least those three players into that match as well. But for the time being, you actually have to give those people your code too as well, and they could join and jump into the game. So let's go to host. Let's submit. 
And let's see, it says main show and it says show high code. So you can show and then you can give the code to your community. Your community can jump in. And as you see, it says waiting one of 60 players up to 59 other players can join into this game and play. I think that's pretty awesome. It says the game can start as soon as we have 12 players. So that is the minimum. You need 12 players to actually do a show yourself. So that's probably doable. You can press box to show and hide the code. That's pretty cool. And actually, you can pick the show right here. You can pick what kind of show you want to do. And they have a ton of selections. We have main show. We have jump around. Hexagon trials. FG4041. Whatever that is. <laughs> Alternative shows, we have Fall Ball Cup, Fan Favorites, Fruit Basket, Gauntlet Showdown, Hard Mode, Roll Call, Slime Survivors, and favorite shows that we have favorited. I haven't favorited any yet, but this is pretty cool. There's actually a ton of stuff to select and choose from. We press L1 to see the player list so we can see everyone that has joined already. And in the player list, as you can see on the bottom corner, it has cancel. It also has select and kick. So you can kick somebody from the show if you know someone that's jumping in, trolling or whatever that's not supposed to be there. You can take care of them fairly easily as well. So cross-platform play is enabled now inside of Fall Guys Season 4 because of this mid-season update. It turned it on for all users. So again, if you want to turn it off, here's what you do. You want to go all the way into your settings on the top tab right after the store by clicking R1 or if you are on PC, just click the settings button and then move over into the options menu and click that. And then below, as you can see, it says gameplay and then gameplay right on top. It says cross platform matchmaking and it's on. They recommend to keep it on because again, you are looping in with more players more faster. You are able to play with your friends on multiple platforms if it is on. So say for example, you on PS4, your friend has four guys for PC. You guys could play together, join up, be in each other's parties, be in each other's squad games only if this is enabled on. However, to turn it off, all you gotta do is again, press left on the analog stick or on the d-pad and it will say cross play recommended disabling cross play will affect your queue times and is not recommended are you sure you wish to continue uh, the reason why they're saying it will affect your queue times because when you are in a queue and you're queuing up for more players to join your game it's pulling from not just the people that are playing on your platform for example, I'm playing on PS4. So if I have this off, I will only be playing with PS4 players. Meaning that if I'm playing at, I don't know, three in the morning for some reason, and there's only a certain amount of players playing on PS4, those are the players I'm gonna be grouped with. However, the group pool then becomes higher if we do have cross-platform play on where we can not only pull from the PS4 players, but also pull from the PC players in order to make a game, in order to make a lobby. So I actually wanna leave it on for that reason. It'll be easier to jump into matches. I wanna test on how easy -er it is. Again, this is kind of peak playing time for people playing Fall Guys in my region. So I'm, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see if it's actually impacting my queue times and run a couple of tests. I'll probably do a video on that later on in the week once I find something to stand to to actually report. Also, again, I do know that people are bummed out that this is actually rolled out and ready for PS4 and on PC already when we just got that news that it was delayed on Nintendo Switch and Xbox because cross-platform play wasn't ready. Now, I hear you, and to me, I'm scratching my head and I'm no game developer, I couldn't tell you why, but to me, what this means is that if I had to, you know, read the tea leaves of what's actually going on, I do not have any inside information, but I can tell you that while they're trying to bring the games over to Xbox and Nintendo Switch, and I think Nintendo Switch is probably the, the one that we have to point the finger at, at why the delay is happening on, because be honest, the Xbox is probably just 
a PC port or you know a PlayStation port nothing really too technical they probably have to do behind the scenes in order to bring the games over the switch on the other hand I do believe they're gonna have to like downscale it a little bit graphically to run and I'm pretty sure the hardware on the Nintendo switch isn't super strong to have the game running as fast and fluid as possible and I think that's gonna be the big kicker Granted, we do have games like Skyrim, we do have games like The Witcher 3 on Nintendo Switch, but if you look at those games, those games don't look as good as the counterparts on just the base PS4 and just the base Xbox One. So the graphical downgrade that we're going to see is going to be substantial. Granted, this game is not, you know, ratchet and clank with the graphics on PS5, but it's still going to look noticeably different on Nintendo Switch. And I think that is what they're trying to get right. They're trying to get the look of it down, looking good on Nintendo Switch, as well as technically performing great on Nintendo Switch, where it can keep up with the other platforms, where it doesn't feel like you're playing a slower version of the game, or you at a disadvantage on a Nintendo Switch. And I think that's why the delay happened. Again, that's just my two cents. I'm not too sure. I'm not a game developer, but that's just my opinion about what's going on with cross-platform play on Fall Guys and why it's here on PS4 and PC and not on the Xbox and Nintendo Switch just yet. Even though technically those aren't even out. So who's to know? So this is coming from the official Fall Guys Twitter account listing off everything that is new inside of this mid-season update for Fall Guys Season 4. So we got two new rounds. Again, Button Bashers. I'm gonna have footage of it playing from the mid-season 4 trailer. You should check it out. This game looks cool. I haven't jumped into one yet, and I can't wait. And Slime Scraper, which again, looks like an alternate version of Slime Climb, which the fan favorite just with the update of being in you know year 4041 right what whatever year we in inside of this season and it's crazy they definitely brought it to the future added a ton of stuff from the future levels inside of it and made it work and it's incredible looks pretty cool i can't wait to try it out as well again this footage is coming from the trailer so they also added 55 variations across 12 different rounds, meaning that there are interchangeable parts to certain rounds. So at the end of a certain round, it may end with a fan, it may not, it just may end with a platform. It may start with anti-gravity sections pointing down, like in this section right here of the race, and then in a totally different race, it's totally not there. I was expecting to go straight down into the fist, and that was not the case. It was just a regular old where you just jump up in the air for that anti-gravity section. They said they added 55 of these variations, so that is incredible. To me, this is going to add so much diversity to the rounds and make them feel brand new every time you play them. And I think that is one thing that Fall Guys was lacking and where the rounds just felt repetitive and felt the same. If you knew the strategy, you were king. However, it's now gonna be more of an obstacle game where you're gonna have to know the strategy for each particular obstacle in your way rather than just knowing the strategy for that particular game show. Obviously, you're gonna actually have to combine and mix and match and that's gonna make it a ton of work for my how to win videos. I'm loving it that they are adding this much diversity. It's gonna definitely have me playing a ton more. Again, custom lobbies for everyone. I just went over that in the beginning of the video, as well as cross play inside of matchmaking, as well as custom lobbies. But the fact that we can play cross play now with PC players is pretty cool. They also say lots of improvements, lots of bug fixes that comes along with any patch. So that's not a you know, huge news there, but we knew bug fixes were coming. For our trophy hunters, do note that trophies are disabled in custom lobbies and you will not be able to track your trophies inside of custom lobbies. Now this is again coming from the official Fall Guys Twitter. It says, yeah, because it will be too easy to cheat them. You could just start a custom lobby with four people and it'll be so easy to get inflatable laugh out loud they also answered a question on their 
Fall Guys Twitter account that I should have read over regarding crossplay with Xbox and Switch players. It says, Bro, why did you say you will delay Xbox and Switch versions for crossplay if you already have done it? Question mark. And it says, So we can have crossplay with Xbox and Switch players too. So that tells us that while crossplay is probably in the game, probably built into the code already, they actually need permission and need approval on the Xbox side, make sure it's working on their servers as well as the Nintendo Switch side. And again, the fact that it's actually here on PS4 and PC is a kind of a good thing because that shows us that it's actually here and it's working enough for them to drop it in the game even though they delayed it on Nintendo Switch and Xbox. So hopefully that would mean that we would We'll see it come to Xbox and Nintendo Switch sooner. However, I'm not, you know, holding my breath for it. It is what it is. It kind of feels weird that the fact that we have it here now, and that's the reason why they delayed it, but that's neither here or there. I also want to throw this in there that these outfits with this, like, it looks like a space on the head, uh, like Saturn, a planet on the head, as well as a jetpack. Now, the other player looks like they have it too, and this guy looks like he's very far up in the air. That makes me wonder, is this a jetpack inside of this mode? Is this gonna be a new game mode with jetpacks? And you actually see the witch in the background too, and it looks like she has it as well. It's very interesting. They replied to it and said, don't look at that yet. Like if it was something new coming in the future, but again, who knows? One thing we discussed on this channel already was black bling and adding black bling to the game. We've seen Fortnite do that after the game had launched. They added black bling and that was pretty cool. It could be weird on some designs. I could see them be like not wanting to do it all the way and just have shirts where you have backpacks or black bling quote unquote on. I could see this jetpack being one of those and I should also see them just adding a, a weird game mode where you have jetpacks on your back and you can fly around and float a little bit to go an extra bit of more distance when you're jumping around. Now that's gonna be all for today. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this mid-season update and everything that they added. Are you enjoying it? Are you playing the new shows? Are you jumping into custom lobbies? And are you turning off matchmaking or are you gonna leave it on? Let me know all of that juicy stuff in the comment section below. Like always guys, I answer all comments so I'm gonna meet you guys down there. We can chat it up. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking full guys call of duty fortnite whatever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video on to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one